It is election coverage here on DMG TV2 on Time Warner Cable. Your voice, your vote, 2015. Hello, I'm Michael Roberts. And I'm Gail Garber, and thank you for tuning in. We have got all of the latest results from Tuesday's general election, and let's get to the boards. We'll show you exactly what we have here. And Gail, we begin with the race for mayor in the city of Dover. Mayor uh, Richard Homerkhausen will return to office with 2,571 votes uh, against uh, the challenger. Robert Everett had 1,976. So congratulations to Mayor Homerkhausen. Meanwhile, in New Philadelphia, they have a new mayor. Republican Joel Day will become mayor with 3,093 votes. Meanwhile, incumbent at the time, Dave Johnson, 2,196. Newcomers Town Mayor's race goes to Pat Cadle with 737 votes and Earl McCormick, the challenger, with 163 votes. Meanwhile, in Strasburg, John Bittekoffer wins with 399 votes. Stephen Smith has 308 votes and Marty Zender has 173 votes. Moving to our statewide issues, these are Tuscarawas County only numbers. Um, state issue two uh, has passed 16,210 uh, for and 10,997 against. Meanwhile, state issue three went up in smoke, so to speak, with 20,148 against and 7,643 for. Now that is for Tuscarawas County. And of course, as we know, statewide, it was also defeated there as well. Issue 27, Tuscarawas Committee on Aging has passed 16,079 votes to 10,990. Meanwhile, the Adams Board, the Alcohol, Drug Addiction and Mental Health Services Board, their renewal passes with 17,748 votes with 9,441 against that renewal. Issue 36, the New Philadelphia Fire Station passed 33,000, I'm sorry, 3,349 uh, for and 1,991 again. So congratulations to the new Philly Chi Fire Chief and his crew. Absolutely on that. Well, it's been an interesting election here. The general election certainly won for the memory books. A couple of other quick ones we want to mention, including Zor and also some New Philly Council numbers, right? Yes. Um, New Philadelphia City Council, um, there were four candidates for three seats, and the winners were Dean uh, Holland, the, the independent candidate, Kelly Ricklick is back uh, to council and Amy May also won a seat on council. So congratulations to the three of them. And we mentioned Zor was a close race. It's a very interesting race to begin with, but now very close. Um, at, the be uh, at, at the beginning last night, we talked about the Zor race and how um, the mayor had passed away after he had filed to run for reelection. He did have someone, Judy Miser, who filed to run against him. She was on the ballot. She had 57 votes, and there was a write-in candidate, Scott Gordon, who got 60 votes. That race is going to go into recount because it's within the margin, three votes difference. So that race will be in recount, so we don't really have an official mayor yet in the village of Zorro, Ohio. Well, that's what we have so far here. That is it. Your general election results here on 2015 in the books. Thank you so much for joining us here. And thank you so much to our sponsors of our election coverage here on TV2. They include Trinity Hospital, Twin City, and Gisana's Pizza. I'm Michael Roberts alongside Gail Garbrandt. Thank you for joining us. Thanks again. At Hicks Automotive Performance, we use the latest computerized technology to diagnose and troubleshoot your vehicle. We repair or replace engines, transmissions, cooling systems, air conditioning systems, brakes, electrical systems, and exhaust. Hicks Automotive Performance also sells top quality tires, as well as providing mounting, balancing, and wheel alignment, and 24-hour towing and emergency service through Hicks Record Service. Hicks Automotive Performance and Record Service, if it goes wrong, we can tow it and fix it.
Return to the elegance of late 19th century by visiting J.E. Reeves Victorian Home and its adjoining Carriage House Museum in Dover, Ohio. Ceremonies and receptions can be held on the beautiful grounds and gardens or in the Carriage House for smaller occasions. The Carriage House comfortably seats 72 people and can be rented out for birthday parties and other occasions. The J.E. Reeves Victorian Home is located at 325 East Iron Avenue in Dover, Ohio. Call 330-343-7040 to schedule your special event. Are you recovering from orthopedic surgery, experiencing low back pain, or pain resulting from an injury? If so, choose Trinity Hospital Twin Cities Rehab Center. Their experienced team of physical therapists provide personalized care to help you return to normal activities as soon as possible. Choose the Trinity Hospital Twin City Rehab Center at Denison. Call 740-922-6675 for more information. Carolina Stair Supply introduces the All Iron Slides Baluster System, our patented adjustable telescoping iron baluster that requires no complicated cutting and no angled drilling, making DIY repair and installation dramatically easier for the homeowner. Utilizing a telescoping adjustment, our stock balusters will adjust from 28 and 1 half inch to 38 inch and even up to 42 inches using our 16 inch extension. Installation is easy. Simply apply a dab of adhesive to the inset pocket of the bottom bracket and screw it into the marked stair tread. Insert the baluster and lock it into place with a set screw. Extend and plumb the baluster. The bracket will swivel to the perfect angle. Screw the bracket into the top rail and use the set screw to lock in the angles. All Iron Slides is constructed from one half inch bar stock and available in plain, twist, basket, and three scroll versions in six durable finishes. An optional swivel base shoe is available for angled wall applications and an aluminum version is available for exterior use. Using All Iron Slides by Carolina Stair Supply, anyone can replace their old balusters simply by driving a few screws. At Mr. Appliance, we believe repairing your appliances is only part of the job. We believe in delivering superior service by taking extra steps like putting on protective shoe covers before entering your home. Calling Mr. Appliance is a smart choice as we charge by the job and not by the hour. When our in-home service professional is home, you'll get a complete diagnosis of your appliance problem and a solid quote before any work begins. When you call Mr. Appliance, you can be sure a courteous, Highly trained service professional will arrive at your home on time with a clean uniform and an ID badge. We conduct a background check on all our service professionals as we want to be the repair service you can trust. For the service you can trust, call your local Mr. Appliance at 330-874-6017 or visit online at MrAppliance.com. Myers & Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients in order to better serve their needs. Myers & Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawa and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. Omni Orthopedics comprehensive programs provide early diagnosis and successful treatment for every musculoskeletal problem. With more than 30 years of orthopedic experience, their physicians offer patient-centered treatment for all ages. From evaluation to rehabilitation, your treatment plan is designed around your needs. Omni Orthopedics specializes in sports medicine, the spine, physical medicine and rehabilitation, foot and ankle, and hand surgery. If pain makes activities like climbing stairs, standing or walking a challenge, turn to the home team at Omni Orthopedics. Their mission is to provide you with the highest quality and most advanced orthopedic services so you can get back in the game. Located in the Oxford Medical Arts Building, Omni offers a full-service facility, including digital x-ray and physical therapy. 
so there's no need to travel when quality care is so close to home. I'm the Orthopedics, setting the standard in orthopedic care. Just wanting to be a, you know, a police officer, I knew this was a great start, and it turned out to be a fantastic one. Just be able to actually see what you're doing, what you're working on, and understand how you can take one thing and turn it into something else. We got to creatively use skills and academics and see how we can place them into our fields. It's pretty much I had the key to open the door, and that was from Buckeye. 